This project has most definitely inspired young people to consider our own in civil engineering. The, the proof of that is the fact that we've had so many young people approach us and we've taken them on, specifically inspired by this project. This is my first project and I started from the beginning as a graduate engineer and this project has improved my technical knowledge. Uh, when I came here I was freshly out of college so literally everything I know I've learned on this job. i a year and a half of highways works, which is really informative for me. And when I moved on to the structure section that's obviously aided my development. There's been numerous standout moments asso associated with the project from the installation of the North Approach Viaduct span one over the railway through all the major bridge installation activities as well as the, the first movement of the bridge by the huge hydraulic cylinders. So Colin Away was in the phase one of the works. So we had a load of access roads in the first phase of the project to service the job and the surrounding businesses. The technical highlights for the project are surely the bascule opening span. The tolerances required to make everything fit and move as it's designed has taken a lot of engineering thought and work from various different disciplines throughout the industry to millimetre accuracy so everything fits perfectly. My favourite moments on this bridge is uh, quite a lot. Uh, NAV1 arriving and the uh, Bascal bridge arriving and finishing control tower is one of the best moments for me. There's been a lot of collaboration between all the local stakeholders in the project, from local businesses for which accesses have had to be moved, to the railway authority for which we've had to construct a bridge span over, and of course the port authority throughout. Within Lake Lothing and the live port environment, we've been working in throughout. Collaboration and support of the project has been key. After three years, it's sort of been, it's going to be a bit bittersweet because I've been here for so long. It's actually all I've known in my working life is this bridge and now it's finally open. I don't really know what to do myself, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm definitely staying with Farron's. So the bridge is in nearly completion now. It's a moment of pride to witness uh, dedication and years of hard work. The bridge will be soon serving local community in low stuff. I live locally and to drive past this every day and say I've been involved with building it is a massive point of pride for me. Well Farrens has left a, a legacy in the area by spending many millions of pounds in the local community within 10 miles. We've employed 380 people within, that live within 10 miles of the project. We've spent two and a half thousand hours of educational within the local students in the area as well as providing 11 apprentice opportunities and nine graduate positions within the project itself. I feel like it's really been a bottleneck on development for this town because there's so much traffic around, but uh, taking the traffic out of the city centre will be really nice and uh, hopefully use some congestion and be a little bit more comfortable for people and other stuff. I'd like to thank the local community for their support throughout the project. The support has been obvious to us all with the, all the locals in full support of the project. We understand there has been some disruption through the project and we thank you for your patience throughout.